This video illustrates the installation of the Ford Performance 2015-2017 Mustang Short Throw Shifter. Ford Performance part number M7210MA. Always support vehicle with floor stands. Failure to follow these instructions may result in serious personal injury. Ford Performance part number M7213M8A. The following is a list of the tools required to perform the job safely. To begin the installation, rotate the gear shift knob counterclockwise and remove the gear shift knob. Using an interior trim removal, release the gear shift boot from the floor console starting at the front sides and moving rearward. Release the retainers and remove the gear shift lever boot. Remove the inner boot from the shifter. Loosen the clamps and separate the muffler and tailpipe from the right hand catalytic converter and the left hand muffler inlet pipe. Remove the left hand and right hand rear exhaust hanger isolator bracket bolts. Unhook the rear exhaust hanger isolators and remove the muffler and tailpipe assembly. For personal safety, always have someone on hand to help you with the exhaust removal process. Index mark the drive shaft and pinion flange for reference during installation. Mark the drive shaft flux coupling to the transmission flange. Clean and remove any remaining thread locking compound on the removed bolts. Minimize the flexing of the drive shaft or a coupler damage could occur. Support the drive shaft. Using a screwdriver inserted into the slot in the pinion flange, pry the drive shaft away at the pinion flange. Separate the drive shaft from the pinion flange. Remove the drive shaft to transmission flange bolts. Clean and remove any remaining thread locking compound on the removed bolts. Position and support the drive shaft. Remove the drive shaft center bearing bolts and remove the drive shaft. Clean and remove any remaining thread locking compound on the removed bolts. Support the cross member with a transmission jack. Remove the cross member bolts and lower the transmission approximately 4 degrees. Remove the gear shift lever nuts. Remove the upper gear shift lever to transmission bolt. Remove the second gear shift lever bolt. Then remove the gear shift lever assembly from the transmission by pulling forward towards the rear of the vehicle. Remove the rear isolator from the shifter assembly. Remove the anti-rattle clip for the shifter if equipped. Using a proper size punch, remove the roll pin from the shifter lever. Remove spring from shifter lever. Remove the shoulder bolt for the reverse lockout sleeve. Then remove the sleeve from the shifter lever. Separate the dust boot from the lower shifter housing. Remove four lower housing retaining bolts. Gently remove the lower housing cover. Remove the lower actuator arm by slowly lifting off the lower shifter lever pivot. Remove two bolts from the shift lever retaining plate. Remove plate. Remove the shifter lever by pushing it through the shifter housing assembly. Remember to remove the gasket from the lower housing as it's provided in the kit. Remove both pivot isolators from the removed shift lever. Apply a liberal amount of the supplied grease to the new shifter lever pivot 
and the pivot isolator bushing. Slide the pivot isolator bushing over the shift lever pivot ball. Apply a liberal amount of supplied grease to the new shifter lever lower pivot and lower pivot isolator bushing. Press bushing onto lower pivot. Verify the hole for the reverse lockout shifter bolt is oriented towards the side of the shifter housing. Slide the new shifter into the housing once again. Verify that the reverse lockout shoulder bolt hole is oriented towards the driver's side of the shifter housing. Install the shift lever retaining plate over the shifter. Apply blue thread locking compound to two bolts. Torque is 75 inch pounds or 8.5 newton meters. Apply a liberal amount of supplied grease to the lower actuator arm and bushings. Align actuator arm bushings into the shifter housing and lower shifter pivot. Install the provided housing gasket onto the shifter assembly. Slide the lower housing cover into place. Install four bolts with blue thread locking compound, torque to 75 inch pounds or 8.5 newton meters. Install the dust boot over shifter housing. Apply provided grease to shift lever and install provided reverse lockout sleeve over a new shift handle assembly. Then align slot to shoulder bolt hole. Install the shoulder bolt with red thread locking compound. Torque is 16 inch pounds or 1.8 newton meters. Install the spring over shift lever. Install the roll pin into the hole above the spring. Using a punch, tap the roll pin through the shift lever until it is equally spaced over the spring. Press out the center steel portion of the front bushing. Alternatively, the bushing can be removed with the use of a hammer and a punch. Remove both halves of front bushing. Install the new front isolator bushings by sliding them into the front arm. Ensure the upper portion of the boot slides into the machine groove on the reverse lockout. Also verify the lower portion of the boot fits securely around the assembly base. Install the anti-rattle clip over shift lever until it rests on the top of the roll pin. Install the rear isolator onto the shifter assembly. Install the gear shift lever assembly. Install the lower gear shift lever bolt first and torque it to 133 inch pounds or 15 newton meters. Then install the upper gear shift to transmission bolt. Torque is 30 foot pounds or 40 newton meters. Install the gear shift lever nuts. Torque to 97 inch pounds or 11 newton meters. Raise the transmission back into place and install four bolts using blue thread locking compound. Torque to 46 foot pounds or 63 newton meters. Install the drive shaft using the center bearing bolts with blue thread locking compound. Torque is 35 foot pounds or 48 newton meters. The help of assistant will be needed. Do not over articulate the drive shaft or damage may occur. Align the index mark on the drive shaft to the rear axle pinion flange. Install the drive shaft to pinion flange bolts with red thread locking compound. Torque 41 foot pounds or 55 newton meters. Align the index mark on the drive shaft flex coupling to the transmission flange. Install the drive shaft flex coupling to transmission flange bolts with red thread locking compound. Torque is 80 foot pounds or 109 newton meters. Hook the rear exhaust hanger isolators into their location. Slide the clamps from the tailpipes over the right hand and left hand catalytic converters. Tighten clamps. Torque is 35 foot pounds or 48 newton meters. Install the left hand and right hand rear exhaust hanger isolator brackets and install bolts.
Torque is 18 foot-pounds or 25 newton meters. Install the gear shift handle boot and slide down onto the reverse lockout. Verify the flat sides of the ring located in the boot are parallel with the machine flats on the, on the shift lever. Evenly tighten the three 5 64th set screws on the reverse lockout against the ring on the gear shift handle boot. Do not over tighten screws. Install the gear shift lever boot to floor console by snapping into place. Thread the provided jam nut onto the shifter shaft. Start by setting the jam nut to 14 millimeters measured from the top of the shift handle to the top of the nut. Thread the new shift ball onto the shift handle until it meets the jam nut. Visually look at the shift ball pattern orientation. Remove the ball and adjust the jam nut up or down in quarter turn increments until the orientation is satisfactory. Do not exceed a measured distance of 18 millimeter from top of shifter handle to top of jam nut or damage to shift ball will occur. After satisfactory shift ball orientation is established, verify proper reverse lockout operation and functionality. Remove the jam nut. Place blue thread locking compound onto the shifter shaft threads just above your recorded jam nut measurement. Install the jam nut over the locking compound and set it at your recorded measurement. Allow the locking compound to set up and install the shift ball. And that completes the installation of the Mustang Short Throw Shifter Kit.